Octopus have just launched a new range into their Cozy family. So if you've previously been told by Octopus that they don't have a heat loss available for you for your home in the Cozy range, well, you might already be getting a call or an email to tell, the, tell you you can now get a heat pump from Octopus under the Cozy range as we see the launch of the Cozy 12. Now we'll be diving into some of the stats and information about the Cozy 12 in this video and also a speculative video if you like the Cozy 6 but you wanted a less powerful heat pump, I've got some speculations on what I think might be happening around that. Remember, if you want a heat pump from Octopus Energy, you can go to evnick.com forward slash heat pump, fill in your details, and you will get £100 when that heat pump gets installed. Now, if you don't want a heat pump, you don't want your hot water to be done, you just want heating and cooling in the summer and in the winter, but you don't want a heat pump grant or anything like that, and you want to have an air conditioning system, you can go to evnick.com forward slash aircon, where you can get a uh, quote there to get a heat uh, aircon system fitted by Heatable. Now, currently, the Octopus Cozy range consists of three heat pumps. We have the Cozy 6 that's currently sat outside my house. Then we saw the launch later, uh, earlier on in this year, the Cozy 9, and now we see the Cozy 12. Now, obviously, each one of them has a different heat loss, the smallest being the Cozy 6, which is able to deliver a capacity of 5.6 kilowatts. Then we have the Cozy 9, which is able to deliver 8.7 kilowatts. And now we have the new Cozy 12 that can deliver up to 11.2 kilowatts. Now, all these uh, deliveries of heat loss, um, heat demand will be lower if they're running at the 65C flow turbo install temperatures. I've linked down below to the graph if you want to actually see the full information of what's on there. So all three Cozy heat pumps have something in common, and that is they have a lot in common when it comes to the size of them, because Octopus have tried to develop these so they can fit and basically not take too much space up. So they all have the same uh, width. Um, so the width on these is 855 millimeters, but they also have, all have the same depth, and that's 595 millimeters. Now, the only difference between the 6, uh, the 9, and the 12 is going to be the height. Now, the 6 is the shortest of the of all three of them. That's 100, uh, what's it, 1,125 millimeters high. And the Cozy 9 and the Cozy 12, uh, they're the same height. They both come in at 1,000. 375 millimeters. There's more on how this sizing of the units is going to work later in this video. I'll explain why the 9 and the 12 are the same size. Now, all three units come with the Cozy Pods, the Cozy Controller, the same Octopus app that controls them, and the over the wear firmware updates that seen my COP radically improve. But more on that in another video, we'll get into that. The other thing I want to mention is they can all heat up to 70 Celsius max flow temperature. But the one thing they all definitely have not in common is they all have very different noise levels. Now, typically, when you get bigger heat pumps, as in larger heat pump kilowatt output, they will typically be larger in size. Now, we just mentioned before, the 9 and the 12 are exactly the same size. So this is where we're going to get to something to do with a noise difference in a second. But now, the reason when the unit gets bigger, they actually typically, on average, get quieter. Now, that's usually because the smaller units, um, the, the noise you're seeing on the smaller units tends to be the compressor rather than the fan noise. And then as you're getting into the larger units, the fans tend to be um, the, the noisier of the thing that you hear rather than the compressor because the way it sort of size. Now, the way a heat pump works is getting larger is you have, at the back of it, you have the evaporator, which is basically doing the heat pump sort of work of extracting the heat from a, like a radiator system. But at the front you have the fan. Now, to get more kilowatt delivery, you either need a more powerful fan or a collection of a more powerful fan with a larger uh, condenser on the back. Now, what typically happens, the heat pump gets larger, the fans don't have to work as hard to pull in that airflow. So you keep the same size, uh, you get a bigger unit, you get a bigger fan, the fan doesn't have to work as hard and therefore it's usually typically not as noisy because you've got bigger, bigger airflow so the fans don't have to work as hard. Now, this is why when you're working, say in hot water mode and heating up uh, the unit up to 60, the unit gets louder because the fan has to draw a lot more airflow to basically get that airflow in so it can work hard. It's also why it works harder in the cold. But on a typical day, the fans will run lower. So bigger units usually means that the fans are bigger, but therefore they don't have to work as hard. And that's what typically larger units usually see a 
downward trend on the noise until we start to get to the very large units that have two fans and obviously two fans tend to be noisier than one fan. I'm going to go through decibel levels. So the Cozy 6 is 58 decibels, the Cozy 9 is 56 decibels and the Cozy 12 is 60 decibels. Now as you mentioned before, usually the larger units get quieter but the Cozy 9 and 12 share the same casing so therefore Octopus would have had to increase the fan speed at the front, which will be creating a little bit more noise than the Cozy 9. But it's only two decibels higher than my Cozy 6. Now we're going to explain when it comes to what decibels actually mean. So if we look at volume levels, 40 decibels is what your fridge will run at your in your home. So your fridge in your kitchen will be about 40 decibels. It's a standard fridge hum, very un unannoying noise that you barely even hear. Now when we get towards 70 and 80 range, that, that's the loudness that might start annoying people. But the 60 decibels, for example, is what we'd call like a typical conversation. So even at cozy 12 levels of 60 decibels, that's comparable to just basically a conversation. So probably the, a little bit less than the volume level you're probably watching this video right now at um, would be the sound that the, the cozy six would just be slightly under. Now, the other thing with decibels is it's not linear. Uh, so, you know, the two decibels higher isn't exactly uh, just two higher. It, it, it's not a flow. The ch way the chart works on decibels is very, very confusing. But just to give you an idea, mine is two decibels quieter uh, than the Cozy 12. And I've never had a complaint from my neighbor who's the closest neighboring window to it, which is 17 meters away from me. Larger houses with Cozy 12s are going to be further away from their neighbours than my units are. And I've never had a complaint from my neighbour about my Cozy 6 until the other week. So my neighbour texted me, um, basically said, I uh, heard your heat pump this morning and it woke me up. Um, checked the stats of my heat pump and it wasn't even turned on. So that really confused me. So after a little bit of uh, working out, we realized the heat pump wasn't running. It wasn't the heat pump that he heard drilling into the concrete. Uh, no, it was my robot lawnmower that decided to run over all the kids' toys in the garden instead. So it turns out a heat pump is less noisy than a, a battery-powered lawnmower that goes off in the morning. Who figures? So why is the Cozy 12 slightly louder than the Cozy 6 and uh, a little bit louder than the Cozy 9? Well, as I said, because it's using the same casing, it's going to have to be drawing in more airflow through that fan, so that fan's like is probably the loudest part of the Cozy 12's unit. It will also have completely different internals inside. And um, from what I've been told from Octopus, is there's more changed inside the Cozy 12 from the Cozy, than the Cozy actually shares with the Cozy 9. So I, I'd imagine it's got a larger compressor in there and a lot of other bits that are in there now. So that is possibly one of the reasons it's slightly larger, but why have they opted for the same size casing um, and a slightly noisier unit rather than making a larger unit and making it slightly quieter. Well, it'll be down to one of the main factors will be cost. So having a pre-casted unit that you can use for several sizes heat pumps means that it drives down the cost, not just for Octopus for manufacturing it, but also for you for when you're buying it. So Octopus can offer much more competitive rates on the Cozy 12 than other 12 kilowatt hour units available out at the moment. It also is a big thing when it comes to size. Now, most people, space is a premium. You know, people don't want to share space with extra equipment outside of the garden that is, you know, essentially street furniture. So they don't want to essentially have more of their garden taken up or more of their pretty decking taking up. They want the smallest footprint of a heat pump possible. And that small noise increase in a large 13 kilowatt heat loss house you're likely going to be a lot bigger houses, further away from neighbours, easier to place it in different places compared to a lower loss uh, heat pump. So someone with like a Cozy 6 typically is going to be a smaller house, someone with a Cozy 12 is going to be a much larger house. And because of these differences, it means that most people, if you ask them, would they rather have a unit that's four or five decibels quieter or a unit that is 20% smaller on footprint, I guarantee every, everyone will pick the smaller footprint for those very tiny four or five decibel reading differences. Now, another thing to see is that the S-COP has changed on the Cozy 12. The S-COP on the Cozy 12 is coming in at 3.9 at 50 Celsius design flow. And I'm really glad to see an extension to the Cozy family. Now, the big question I have is we have the Cozy 6 that I have, 
but we don't have anything small in the Cozy 6. So could we see Optimus use the Cozy 6 design and maybe make a smaller Cozy 4 internally? So smaller compressor, maybe a less powerful fan, and that saves Optimus money in, in that casing already being designed, but also making all the internal smaller for those small houses that might need a slightly smaller heat pump. Even though the Cozy 6 can modulate further down, that cost saving to Octopus for those compressors on those co you know four kilowatt installed heat losses might be hugely advantageous to Octopus. So what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments what you think is going to happen. If you're after a heat pump from Octopus Energy, either a Dakin or a Cozy, then go to evnick.com forward slash heat pump where you can get £100 off when you fill in your details. Don't forget to see this video of my install, the Cozy, or this playlist all about heat pumps.